everyone, it's Moose, and thank you so much for joining me back here today. I'm finally going to do it. I'm finally going to reorganize my bookshelf. So that's what we're going to do today. Here's my bookshelf in all its glory. I even have stuff up top. You can't really see it, though. It's going to be a mess. It's already a mess. I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. I think I'm going to do kind of the same way my old bookshelf was. I think I'm going to do my series and stuff up top. Maybe my Harry Potter stuff right here. Because I have a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. And then just some random books. And then maybe my TBR. And then this bookshelf is really wide. Like it's very deep. So I have enough room to put another row in the back. So I think I'm just going to put books that I really should get rid of. But having it. Or maybe classics and stuff like that. That I've read. And I'm not going to reread. You know stuff like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get to it. First of all, I'm just going to take everything off the shelf. Anisha's chilling right here. Okay, I got all my books chilling in the floor. 
Um, I'll kind of try to explain my reasoning for how I organize them. This stuff, um, this, this, and this are stuff that I don't really care if they go in the back, whether I've read them or not. Um, if I get bored and I haven't read them, I'll go searching for them. I pretty much know what I have. I'm pretty good on that. This stack, this, 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 those are penguins, and then this are to be read. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a bunch of TB read stuff. And then even some of this needs to be read too. These are my series. Um, so like, The Wise Man's Fear. I've read the first one, haven't read the second one, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the series section. Everlaw series, haven't read that. Heard it was good, bought it. Haven't read it though. And then I still have these box sets too. I have the Shadowhunter box sets. I haven't read those yet. But they're still part of a series. And then I have a series of unfortunate events under there that can also go on the series shelf. Maybe. I guess we'll have to see. And then this little stack right here are just random books that I enjoy that might be put, you know, like out front where people can see them because I enjoyed them. I don't know though. Because this, this big stack right here, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> So I think I'm going to start with the crap that I don't care if goes in the back. I think I'm going to start putting those on the bo the bottom shelves in the back. So we'll see how this goes. I guess I'm going to start from the bottom and work up. That was not my original plan, but I guess it's my plan now. So we'll, we'll get to it. to do next. <laughs> I think I'm just going to start with the series like on the top shelf maybe. Maybe a little bit on this one and then I'll work in my 2B red. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Let's just let's just do it.
guys. I think it's done. I think it looks pretty okay. I think it looks A-OK. -okay. I'll, I'll give you a closer look and kind of explain why I put things where I did. Hold on. So starting at the top, I decided to just leave the games there. Um, I don't know. I thought about putting them down here, like in our actual TV stand. I might do that still. Like we have a bunch of empty space, like right here. I'll talk to my husband and see what he wants to do because some of those are his too. Um, I had this random Zelda book. It's like the Historia of the whole timeline of the Zelda series. Um, and then I have Zelda and Link. So I decided to put them up here at the top. I don't like the way that tag is hanging down though. I kind of just shoved them up here. We'll move that a little bit. All right, I'm too short to see that, so it's okay. I have the sorting hat right here just because he's too tall to put on any of the shelves. I actually made him um, and it was a lot of fun. I made him for a work event. We had like a Harry Potter party when I used to work at that bookstore. And so I made him. I think he's really cool. Over here at the side I put my moose. Um, there's that one. That's the Scentsy one. And then the one I got from my old college that I just graduated from. Here in the back, um, back here on the top shelf are just random stuff. And then those are my Bibles. Um, they're not the ones that my husband and I read out of. They're just like special ones. Um, the white one came from a church. When my dad died, they gave it to me. Um, the black one was my dad's itself. And then the blue one right there, my grandmother gave it to me. And I had my name, name engraved on it. So they're just, they're just special and I don't want to get rid of them. But I don't read out of those. I'll get to those in a minute. You can see those from the front. Um, back here are just, again, random books that I didn't really care about showing. Same thing down here. And then at the end over here, like some of these I wanted to show, but I just didn't have room. So I just didn't go for that. So top shelf is my series shelf. Here's the Everlost series. Everlost is kind of hidden, but it's okay. I'm not that worried about it. Here's my Amanda Hawking. I really like her. Um... Her writing is kind of juvenile now that I've like gone through an entire English degree, but it's a really enjoyable um, quick reads. I read this whole series in less than a week, I think. So she's good. I actually have more of her stuff down here, my to be read shelf, but we'll get to that in a second. Here's the second book to the Witcher series. I am reading the first book. It's over there. I'm trying to keep you guys updated on it, but for now it's just over there. The Maze Runner, I think they came out with another book. Oops. Oh no. There we go. Yeah, I think they came out with another book to this series. I haven't read it though, but I have read all four of these and they're good. My Hunger Games, love it. I'm wanting to reread this. I bought the first one separately and then I bought the, the box set, so that's why I have two separate ones. The Fifth Wave series is good. I would kind of like to reread it because I feel like I kind of rushed through it um, and I didn't enjoy it as much as I really think I would enjoy it. So there's that. Twilight, such a twi hard, low key, high key, whatever you want to say. I am not ashamed of it, so I guess it's kind of high key. Haven't read Life and Death. I started it and just couldn't get into it, but yeah, have all that. Even have the official illustrated guide, so there's that. Lord of the Rings, I need to reread these two. I haven't read these since I was in middle school, and I feel like they were a little advanced for me at that age, so I need to reread these, but this is all three of them in one. So, I really like that. My little knickknacks on the shelf consist of my panda. Um, I used to have a panda obsession. So, I have a bunch of panda stuff. I think my aunt got me this one. Ethan got me this when we first started dating. Um, he went to the beach with some of his buddies for like a quick trip. And he brought me this back. So, I really enjoy that. My parents got me this. It's a little moose just kind of sits right here on this little pedestal. Moving on to my next shelf. Hi Maggie! Wow! That was loud! How are you doing? Oh, say big stretch. And then Andy's just laying. She's just chilling. What are you doing, Mags? Huh? Wow. You're such a good girl. You smiling at me? Yeah. You smiling? Yeah, anyways, here's my second shelf. It's still series. 
I have all my Harry Potter stuff in this little corner. Um, all my pops that I have, my time turner. I usually like to leave this open so you can see the books, but this shelf is not tall enough. So I had to close it and it worked out because I just put stuff on top of it. Cursed Child. Um, I have <laughs> Chamber of Secrets like right there, like on top of Cursed Child. Someone bought me that individually and then I got the box set, so I don't really need it. Maggie's eating, so if you can hear her, just ignore that. Have the library collection, you know, with Beetle and the Bard and the Quidditch book and all that kind of stuff. I have a coloring, like, postcard book, and then I have a book of stamps. Oh my goodness, all the dogs are just deciding to wake up at one time. You're not even standing up. You're not even standing up. <laughs> and then back here I have my paperback set of Harry Potter books. I got these from work. We did that Harry Potter. We did that Harry Potter event. Um, they're just magic potions. We put like water and food coloring in them. And kind of made our own potions. But when I moved I had to dump that out. Otherwise I didn't want it to like break. And then spill everywhere while we were moving. This right here is like a Quidditch set. Um, I just add that up because I didn't really have room for it. Here's my coloring book that I love. I haven't colored in a while. I really need to get back into coloring. It really just helps me be calm and chill and it's just relaxing. I need to get back into coloring. I'll sit there for a second. There are my Lemony Snicket books. I really enjoyed those. Um, they were one of the first things I really remember like getting into when I was younger. So I went ahead and bought the box set just because they mean a little bit to me. So they're back there, my Kindle sent on top of it. Up front here I have my Cassandra Clare, um, Shadow, Shadow Hunter novels. I haven't read those yet. I need to. I bought these years ago. Like years and years and years. I think I was still in high school. Um, but I still have those. Here's all my bookmarks. I like to collect bookmarks. Like anywhere I go, I get a new one. My parents got me this one. Mom got me this one. These are random ones. Pretty sure Ethan's parents brought me this one back. I got this one when I was out in Arizona to see Ethan. So like, I don't know, I just have, I just like to buy bookmarks whenever I go places. I have one from Greece in here somewhere. I don't really know where it's at right now. I have my Patrick Rothfuss novels. Oh, actually, these are backwards. Hold on, let me fix that. That's gonna bug me now that I've noticed it. Okay, there we go. I have my Patrick Rothfuss novels. I still need to read The Widest Man's Fear, but I've already explained this in, a, in another video. I want to reread the first one before I read the second one. I have some Tamora Pierce. She is super good if you've never read any of her. I especially recommend this series, um, the Becca Cooper series. This is the first one, you know, second and third. I read these when I was in middle school, I'm pretty sure. Um, my school did like a free book thing where they just gave out books and each student got to pick one and take it home and stuff like that. And I picked out this one um, and I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought the other ones. This is not the copy I had before. I think I gave away the copy that I was given. Um, but I went ahead and bought the series because I do want to reread these at some point. Have my Bardugo, Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom. Crooked Kingdom's kind of hidden. Um, but again, I'm not that worried about it because I've already read these. This is really the only knickknack I have on this shelf. Um, Ethan gave that to me. It's a silly story. But. And then we get into my TBR shelves. Maggie's excited for it. Uh, I have a little moose just holding them up, but I have the Aragon. These are kind of like my adult TBRs, and then I have a small section of classics, and then I get into my YA, which I have a lot of YA. What, Aragon is technically considered YA, I think, um, but I put it in adult just because I don't know. I don't know. I put it in an adult. Secret Life of Bees, The Black Company, Fahrenheit 451. I have tried starting that book. I have tried starting Fahrenheit 451 multiple times and just cannot get through it. It's not even a long read at all. It's just anytime I start it, life gets busy and I don't have time to finish it. Then I have The Chronicles of Narnia. Believe it or not, I've never read that, but I really want to. <laughs> Especially since it has like Christian allegory and stuff in it. I'm really into that kind of stuff. I love allegory. Most of the papers I wrote throughout college were on something like that. Seventh Son. I bought that years ago when the movie came out. I thought it sounded interesting and bought it. Haven't read it yet. 
have another Tamora Pierce novel, Trickster's Choice, Uprooted. I started the audiobook of that um, and got almost all the way through it and just I didn't feel like I was getting enough out of it, out of the audiobook, especially since it's a fantasy novel. So I went ahead and bought the hard copy and I'm going to reread the hard copy. Kings of the Wild. Jeff recommended that to me. He said it was really good. I trust him. It's a fantasy adult fiction novel, so I'm going to read that. Get into the classics. A Room with a View, The Mayor of Can Casterbridge, and then The Red Badge of Courage. I heard that one's really sad, but I do plan on reading those. Here's the rest of my Amanda Hawking novels. This is a series. I really don't know if I have them in the right order or not. I really need to look it up and kind of make sure. Um, but like I say, I just enjoy Amanda Hawking and I can usually read her stuff pretty quickly. So I bought this whole series with like a gift card or something back when I had one. I have Stalking Jack the Ripper. Still haven't read it. <laughs> Illumine. I got that at Second and Charles on sale. Actually, I got that and uprooted on sale. This was $4.50. If you can hear her sniffing, it's mags. <laughs> and then I got uprooted for $3.75. So if you have a second in Charles, anywhere where you're at, definitely recommend you can find some good deals there. I have the second book to The Ember and the Ashes. I found this at Ollie's, really cheap, and I know I want to read the series anyways, so I went ahead and bought it. Snow Like Ashes, been wanting to read that for years, <laughs> so I bought it years ago. I just haven't got around to it. Red Queen, Scythe, The Alchemist. Uh, the Selection, I have the first book to the Selection series. I have the first book to Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Frostblood. Um, I have a little bear reading a book, holding that that part up. All right, and then my last shelf, Three Dark Crowns is kind of hidden. I've been wanting to read that series for a while. I bought that when it first came out. That's why I have it in a hardback. I'm usually a paperback person, um, but I bought that book when it first came out and still haven't read it. <laughs> and I Darken, Now I Rise, that's part of the same series. I don't have the third one, but I want to read that series. Next. Sky in the Deep. I think I bought that on Book Outlet. Thought it sounded interesting. The Queen of the Tearling. I think I bought that on Bargain. The Empress. Caraval. Endgame. Heartless. Bought that on Bargain too. Heard good things about it. Seeker. Roar. And then I get into my Sarah J Mass section. As you can see, I don't have the first book to either of these series, but I know I want to read both of them. So I've just been buying them as I find them on Bargain. So that's why I have so many that are not in the right order. As for knickknacks on this shelf, I made this little ornament. It's a picture of me and Ethan on our first Thanksgiving. These are rocks from Greece. I went to Greece um, after I graduated high school. And so I got some rocks from there and just put them in a little thing. I like that. This is a stocking that Ethan got me when we first started dating. Um, I had kidneys. I had a kidney stone at one point. Mags. I had a kidney stone at one point, and so Ethan bought me that and like a blanket as like a get better type thing. Um, and then I have all of his letters from Basic just shoved down in there. Mom got me this. I think it's really sweet. And then one of my professors got me this um, when me and Ethan got married. She knew I had gotten married. And apparently in Indian culture, they give these out at like weddings and stuff. Apparently elephants um, like are a sign of good luck and stuff like that. I don't really know. I'm not trying to be offensive. But that's what she told me. And so I thought it was really sweet. So I put it on my bookshelf. So yeah, that's my bookshelf. I'm really glad I finally got it reorganized. It has been a long time coming. I've been here for like a month and I just now did it. So... That's how that goes. Having it organized makes me want to read a little bit more. That way I can kind of cut down on these two shelves. Two shelves full of to be read books. It's kind of ridiculous, but that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be back here next time, guys. See ya!